Rick Flair, our favorite. Oh, do we have to talk about him? Oh, yeah, we've got two subjects on Ric Flair. <coughs> oh, so, my God. He's selling a robe, and it's everybody's favorite subject, of course, but in what is possibly another sign that all the business ventures that Ric Flair uh, was involved with selling his name to are not paying out like they once were. Nature Boy is selling one of his original robes that he famously wore in his entrances. Let me just get the page up one second. So it says here, Ric Flair, match worn. Uh, sorry, photo match, personally owned Nature Boy Jungle Design Robe Resolution. So, just so you know, on that, it's currently at $80,000, this item. What do you think $80,000. Well, I think the price is... That green doesn't do that robe any good. It's hideous. <clears throat> It's the most think, I've ever seen. Yes, but look at the, it's got a lot of, it's an intricate robe, but $80,000, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get that. I mean, do people invest in this just to look at it? You think? I think they and walk it's a, it's a well. It. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a nice looking robe. You don't, you, you hate it. Oh, I hate but it. it is, it is very intricate. It's gold and green and nature boy. And it's a, it's a historical robe, but $80,000, you know, I might go on there myself and bid 90,000. And then not pay it. And not pay it. What are they going to do? <laughs> so look at this. I mean, but, I, uh, but I have trouble believing it. It's, it, it just, it's just went up and it, it started at 10,000, right? Then 20 and then 30 yeah, and it's all yeah. going up. Why would you go up $10,000 at a time? Oh, I it's think probably, it's probably a, minimum. That's probably the minimum. They'll let you go up. They won't let you do it like by, you know, $10 a bid or something silly like that. Really? They won't let you go up $500? No, I don't think so. I think they'll be trying to drive up the price. Let's just have a good look at it. Lions, cheaters, tiger heads. That's yeah. one thing. But here's the thing that I really enjoyed was, um, you know, more lions and tigers and cheaters and lepers and that kind of thing. And then right in the middle, a giraffe. What the hell? In a tree. In, in a, a tree. bush. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a snake up there? What is that? No, that's a. That's what it looks like. At the top middle, where Nature Boys, it just looks like sort of like um, just brown muck, sort of spilling <laughs> down as well. So you don't you don't like this robe? I think it's maybe the ugliest robe that Ric Flair's ever worn. I wouldn't bid on this one. Like if you're going to bid on the Ric Flair robes of of, oops, ignore right move. Um, time's gone by. You know, you want, you know, like the one that you retired in, you know, the big blue one or the black one or the pink one or, you know, the, there's tons of them that are great. That's horrible, that one. I wonder why he put that one up. He probably doesn't like it himself. Maybe. Doesn't mind getting rid of it. I guess so. But it is a hell of a price. So. How, how much do you think it will go for in all seriousness? It's on $80,000 now. When's the time limit? Oh, I've just got rid of the thing. I don't think it'll go much over that. Let me just get rid of right move. House hunting. Uh, current bid, <laughs> $19 shipping and handling, of course. Uh, ends in 16 days. Crikey. So there's a lot of time. Well, see, I think you have a limit to the number of wrestling fans or collectors that that are out there. I've got that kind of money. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, and I don't think he's going to get $80,000 to me. I don't think unless what have you found out that Tony Khan is the one bidding on that. Mm. He was a big huh? Ric Flair fan that we think might have that. Well, 80,000, just think about it. 80, who would pay even if you're a billionaire? Why would you pay $80,000 for that robe? It wouldn't it be funny if Comrade Thompson bought it in the end? <laughs> just walk around next door maybe, and pick it up. Maybe, I, I, well, hey, I wouldn't put this past Rick. He's bidding on it himself. Oh, it's very common. Very common, that, driving up the price of... Uh, Isn't that there. little uh, unethical? 
Well, it's illegal, yeah. It's just market fix. It's price it, fixing. It is, it is. It is illegal. Yeah, of course it is. Hmm. Why don't you bet on it? I'm going to try to bid eighty thousand dollars, eighty one, eighty thousand one hundred dollars, and put my name on it. Yeah, I'm going to put your name on it, mm, or put fair. Vince. I'm going to put Vince's name on it. Yeah. Mr. McMahon. We should put Charles it. Robinson's name on it because he's a big Ric Flair fan. Yeah. I, I, well, I'll put some name on it. We'll do. But I'm going to check that out. You think that the increments that you can go up on the next bid are $10,000? Yeah, five or ten. I mean, it was 65000 when I saw it beforehand, so a couple of days ago. So maybe it goes up in increments of five. Mm hmm. Maybe. I'm going to check it out. Where is it? Where is it on eBay? Uh, no, it's on uh, Goldens, which on I've never what? heard of. Goldens, apparently. I've never heard of it before, but that's what I've never heard saying. of it either. Yeah. So, Oh, so it's some out-of-the-way type bidding bidding organization, Goldens. Mm, mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a, a story briefly. There's, uh, I, I don't know if you ever saw on the news a couple of years ago, there was like almost like this gold rush of old computer games, like the original Mario on the NES mm -hmm. in night 85, where it's going for $2 million, you know, a sealed copy, that kind of nonsense, you know, it's graded. Anyway, it turns out that the auction, Heritage Auctions, right, that was selling all these were being bought by the owner of Heritage Auctions and then re-auctioned, and then every single time it'd go up, and the grading company, it's called Water Gaming, I think, was owned or partially owned by the same guy who owned Heritage Auctions. So he was driving up the price himself, and then trying to buy, uh, and trying to drive up interest is a very common tactic. Hmm. Well, that's a way to do it. Yeah. There's money because, in it. Because by the time somebody catches on, well, I think they catch on with that high price anyway. I, I think your your interest level is only down to at those prices to one or two people. I think. I don't know, but it's just crazy to me.